We are over here in the chronicles of the jungle and real estate. Matt, welcome to my channel, I guess. Welcome to today's video. We are gonna go check out a multi-million dollar property. Not just kidding. Yo, you, you know what I need? I forgot the, nah, I forgot the list. <laughs> yeah, I forgot the list. I emailed it to hell all right. Yeah, but it's, how am I gonna look at the list with this You told me you were gonna record that entire way, bro? Yeah. But <laughs> it was seven it's, seventeen, it's, right? It's gonna be a vlog. Seven seventeen? It's gonna be a vlog. Now all we gotta do is take this just in case we need uh you know square footage numbers and stuff like that. <laughs> Alright, it's seven seventeen is vacant. Perfect. Alright. So we're going to Tribeca, one of the finest neighborhoods in downtown. Danny, you coming? Come on. <laughs> we got it. Yes. I have to make calls. Yeah. Well, yeah. We, we anyway, both. if you see this, bro, the ads got posted, right? Yeah, we both. Uh, we both have to make calls. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I gotta be calling you. Okay. <laughs> just come. Just come. We'll make calls later. All right, sounds good. Later. So we're going to Tribeca, and this property is 1,248 square feet, priced at $10,250, and it's a two-bedroom, two-bath. You're getting a month free, which is 9,462. This is incredible. Um, you know, just thinking of the fact of paying 10 grand, 10 grand and a quarter for a property is insane what's up guys all right so i'm filming a vlog just say hi what's up richie owen yo 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 so going back to downtown tribeca is one of the most expensive expensive areas actually zip code wise it's probably i think in the 950,000, something like that uh that's gonna be the median or the average income in that specific neighborhood now my office is located over on 160 Broadway. We're about a 10 minute walk. So I wanna show you guys the neighborhood and the area you're essentially buying into. Um, it's, it's, a very, it's a very financial area. It's more than anything, a lot of offices and places where people come to work and, and stuff like that. But there is a lot of fun things to do. And then you got the World Trade Center right there, which is awesome as well. Lots of restaurants, lots of museums. Um, not museums, but they're more pop-up museums. So they have Mercer Labs on the block, which is, I think it's just like a, a light show. I haven't been yet, it's on the list. But that's one of the things that's over here that sticks out, uh, especially being downtown. But the architecture is very unique. Uh, most of the time you're seeing these super cool high rises which are essentially, then you have the contrast between the architecture on the new architecture and then the old architecture, which is really nice. And so it's pretty cool. That's very interesting. I always like to see the contrast. And then we have Fulton Center. We're passing by one of the major, major train stations, which essentially is uh, your, your main source of transportation if you wanna go anywhere pretty much in the city. Um, west side, east side, downtown, uptown. If you want to go to Brooklyn, Staten Island, wherever you want to go, New Jersey, if you want to change states. But wow, my, my arm is my arm is getting stiff. So we're gonna be we're gonna be switching arms really quickly. Not bad. So yeah, you can see all the trains right over here. So this is essentially the Fulton Center. Uh, right on top, you have some offices also, which is pretty cool. So I think that's an interesting piece. So as soon as we, oh, this is, I think, the first church ever opened in, uh, in New York. I think it's the first church. Um, it might be the second, but I think, I'm pretty sure that's the first one. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. We have a lot of diversity, uh, people working, people just walking around, a lot of tourists as well. But this is probably one of my favorite parts. It's the World Trade Center. So this is super cool to see almost every single day. It's amazing. Truly, really, it's a huge luxury, but 
yeah now we're gonna keep walking we're almost inside tribeca we're about two blocks away and then after that oh yeah i think it's trinity church burnt down or something like that i'm not sure what they're talking about but they're talking about the church Ooh. and then over here we have city hall so that's pretty much the distinction between um private and public offices so city halls where you have all the major public service offices so you have the courthouses you have um, a lot of other stuff that is part of the department of state and whatever so yeah that's uh, that's there cool that's where you go to the public notary if you need one and whatever whatnot but so this is this is the entrance to tribeca and you can tell immediately by the change on there's less tourists uh but there's there's more of a sense of, of luxury i think uh financial district feels a little bit more crowded um more offsy right back or less but there's still a fair amount of offices so yeah it just i guess depends on everybody's you know opinion and now we're on broadway so we're probably going to make our left turn soon once we hit Barkley Park Row Street uh, we can go down that way and check a little bit more south Tribeca which is pretty nice I and mean, although the park is probably really cool we can check out more of the park over here so it's nice because in the financial district you have a lot of concrete and stuff like that and then come over to Tribeca and you have this really nice park so this is essentially the greenery and stuff like that. And we're walking down Broadway. So it's always a busy street. Now I want to talk a little bit about this building in specific. Uh, we're going to now is essentially, oops, I don't know if this gimbal is reading the right way. Let's, let's try to find the, the right lighting point. I don't know if it's going to be this way. It seems like the phone's a little heavy on the gimbal, but no, I think this is fine. This is fine, yeah. So I want to talk about the building that we're going to. Probably one of the coolest buildings in downtown. I'd like to say it's one of the most popular ones. Most people know about it uh, because they've had a friend, family member, uh, people they know from work. Uh, they... It's a, it's a popular building and it has an Equinox attached to the building, so that's pretty cool. And there's a basketball court on the rooftop, lounge space, game room. There's laundry on every floor. Doorman, of course, you get in that. Uh, treatment, elevators. If you're not in your Lower East Side, Upper East Side apartment, uh, that you know you gotta walk up to every now and then. So, wow. And, <laughs> my arm. I think this is the first time my arm is uh, being held for such a long time, so I gotta work on my shoulders. Anyways, uh, so th those amenities are com come included with the apartment, so that's a pretty cool feature. And so that's a big luxury in New York, essentially. Uh, most most apartments don't have that 24 seven doorman. If they do, then it's an extra price tag. Uh, this is a nice condo building, which is pretty cool architecture. I'll just show you guys a piece of that. Boom. So I'm recording on a gimbal. Oh, that's a uh, 56 or 57 Leonard. So that's over there. That's pretty cool. A Jenga building. Um, nice, interesting architecture. You don't get to see every single day. But yeah. Got the little train, the Oculus in the background, which is that white spike right there. And so that's essentially the entrance to the path train. And then you have a few commercial spaces. Nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Now, excuse me. All right, we're almost there. We're about two more minutes away, and a few other things. What else can I say about this specific building? I mean, the building speaks sort of on its own. It's uh, let's see, not sure, but I'll show you guys the building. Not this white one, but the one right next to it. Here it is. That is. The building boom, boom, boom. and that's it now let's cross the street because we still have 15 more seconds to go we can go take a look at it 
It's a good timing because it's sunset, so the golden hour is a, always a good time. Switch back to, to this side. Cool. So, yeah, anyways, uh, some tips on, I guess, for your apartment search. Uh, in New York, I am a real estate broker for those of you that don't know me. Um, so I've been doing this for just under six years. Uh, I love New York. I lived in Spain for five years, France for two years, came back, became a broker. And now I help people find apartments. So tip number one is uh, if you're new to the city, uh, you can do it on your own. But it will be very hard uh, to navigate the process. So if you do have the ability, I'd say get in contact with the broker, real estate agent, and they'll help you out. So you can reach out to me via email or just simply prepare your documents. That's probably one of the first steps that most people miss. It's so simple, but some people just leave it for the last minute. And that is probably the worst thing you can do, um, leaving things for last. Okay. The last thing you want to do is find out that you need a certain amount in a bank account, a landlord's like to see at least like two, three months of savings. And then you need an employment letter or pay subs, stuff like that, photo ID, a visa. For if you're a citizen, then obviously you don't need that. But I'm gonna cut here and then get the keys and then report again. Hey, just picking up the key for 717, please. Broker. One second. Here's my ID. 917. Thank you. Seven floors to the left, right? Sorry? Seven floors on that side. Perfect. Thanks. Awesome. I got the key. Pretty cool lobby. Awesome. Here we go. So here we are, we are in the elevator. We're going to the seventh floor. And so this is $10,250. And let's see Seven what you can get in Tribeca for 10 grand. So here we are. Let's do it. 117, Pick this out. So we're going that way. I don't know when this vacated, but I presume not too long ago because this building has to rent everything out super fast. So, yeah, by the time you come to see it, things are usually rented. 718, no, oh, right over here, perfect. Let's see the door's open, the door is locked. So let's just open this up. There we are. Okay. Let's see if we have lights. So another thing is usually we don't have lights because Con Edison decided to cut off the lighting. But here we are. There's a pretty nice two bedroom with a huge outdoor space. Wow. Okay, awesome. Oh my God. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this is the view from here. That's a stunning building too. So we're in the terrace just for the purpose of the actual apartment tour. I want to switch back into fully recording. So I won't be uh, recording on this selfie mode, but I'll go back to the actual camera. Even though selfie camera on the iPhone is looking fabulous. I want to actually get the good, uh, good angle from the uh, back, back side of the phone. Uh, you, you understand what I'm saying. You'll see. You'll see. But yeah, so we'll, we'll just cut to that. So we are inside the $10,250 apartment. And so there's no electricity, like I said earlier, but I still want to show you what you can get for $10,250 in Tribeca. So 
do remember this is one of the most expensive zip codes, if not the most expensive zip code in New York. And so this neighborhood is super sought out. You can easily fit a queen, maybe even swing a king, but this is a pretty cool walk-in closet. All right, sweet. You definitely fit in here. So, awesome. More closets over here. So I think I missed this spot. That's the closet here. I assume this is the washer and dryer. Oh, shoot. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is a massive walk-in closet. You can probably fit a, a desk in here easily. I almost had single or twin bed, but no, definitely a desk. If some people want to do that, I started to see that. That seems pretty cool. All right. Another closet space over here. And here's the juice. So we got the primary bedroom with, of course, its ensuite bathroom. And then you have a stunning living room right here, which is a corner, super rare. And you have a nice walkthrough kitchen, which opens up into a breakfast bar over here. And you have the outdoor space. So pretty cool, pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. Now, probably the coolest part, awesome carpet. The coolest part over here is this stunning, stunning view from the terrace. That's the 88 Leonard right there. I mean, golden hour is just beautiful. We're, uh, we're just a block away from Broadway there. And then you have the Oculus there. I mean, this is just beautiful, guys. I don't know if you guys can see how stunning this is. I mean, absolutely magnificent. So this is, I'm going to switch it back over here. This is, so oh, this actually, is absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful apartment, which is an awesome view right there. And you have, I mean, so much space to work with. The two bedroom, two bath. Some people have converted this into three bedrooms. I don't know if it's the most ideal for that. I do think it's super popular in New York to just convert apartments into an additional bedroom here in the living room. You could, but I think it would take away from the beauty of this apartment. I think it's absolutely stunning the way it is. Um, so I think it's perfect for someone that has an extra roommate, two guys, two girls, uh, one guy and a girl, it doesn't really matter. Or the ideal scenario might even be a couple with a kid or two kids and then a dog because you have that outdoor space that really gives you that beauty. So yeah, this is what I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, plus tons of more properties every single day, find meetings, calls, emails, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So the idea is to just keep recording what I do um, in New York, selling New York. It's not owning Manhattan or Ryan Serhant, but it is Geronimo's showing Manhattan, <laughs> showing New York. Geronimo showing New York. Essentially, we can call it this. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. This is ten thousand two hundred and fifty dollars over in Tribeca. It is a two bedroom, two bath, I think nearly 1300 square feet with an outdoor space and the most expensive zip code in New York, possibly more or less, but you guys get the gist. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm happy to continue recording these videos. Let me know what you think. I didn't record any videos for a very long time because I didn't think they were perfect. I actually recorded tons of videos, but never ended up posting them because I never thought they were perfect. So um, I think we're going to post some more apartment tours, post some more vlogs, even if they're not too up to standards, uh, you're just gonna see more of it. I'd love to hear your ideas. I'd love to hear what you think, what you'd like to see. And if you got any tips, tricks, or if you have apartments, because you're another agent and you wanna collaborate and we wanna show the people, whoever's watching, even if it's one person, it doesn't matter. 
and it makes one person smile, it helps one person's day. I think that's already a good deed. Um, but yeah, so yeah, this is uh, this has been pretty cool. So thank you guys for watching. The best way to help the video is to just share it with people and just like, comment, subscribe, send me an email. I'll see you guys on the next one. Ciao. <laughs> All right.